This is an array's mock test. We've done a couple of questions already. We're going to move on to question three for it for grade 11 RT. So let's get into it. We are dealing with a array or parallel arrays where we have two arrays, array teams, and whatever's in position one of array teams links to whatever's in array results position one. Um, just by the way we designed it. There's no code for it. It's just the way we designed it. Um, so the array teams, Lincoln FC, has achieved those results. So that's 30 wins and three draws, according to the description, which we described in previous questions. We've done question one and two, and we're going to move all the way down to question three. So question three, complete the code for the question three button that displays the name of the team that had the most number of draws based on the information in the teams and results. So we must find out who got the most draws. So we look in at the name of the team and the draws. Now, if you remember correctly, if I scroll back up here, we get the number of draws from whatever's after the comma in the results. So we're going to have to go through a results, finding all the draws until we find whoever got the most draws. And once we find it, we need to record whatever the appropriate team name is at that particular position. So if we find this was the most number of draws, we would move up here to position three in the other array and find the name of the team that achieved those draws. So let's go to the program. So yeah, just a reminder, yeah, we've got array teams, array results, it's already been populated for us. Um, and there are our team count values in the array. So we're gonna go from one till our team count. Okay, we can't assume that the 25 elements are all full. So let's go to most draws. And so, yeah, we're going to have a code. We want to record the max. So what first, we're going to have an, a looping variable that's going to loop from one till whatever. So we need a for loop variable, but I also need a variable that's going to record what the max draws is. So I'm going to make an R max variable. So when we when I start, I normally default or initialize R max to the opposite of what I'm looking for. So I want to find the biggest. Uh, so I'm going to default it to the opposite of it is to a very, very small number. So I'll make sure that whatever's in the array will definitely beat it. So I default it to a very small number so that at least one value in the array will beat it. So we will have whatever value is in the array. So and then I'm going to have a for loop that goes from one until however many elements are in the array, which is our team count. That variable tells me how many elements are in the array. And what are we going to do? Let's go look, end of our for loop. Well, we're going to check. If the, well, before we check, actually, we need to extract that, that number of draws. The number of draws is in array results. So for example, in position one, it's equal to a 30 comma three as a string. You remember correctly now I need to extract that three so we need to extract the draws and have it as a number because I want to compare it as a number so draws and we did this in the previous question we extracted the draws so I'm just going to show you we're going to say equals we're going to copy from array results at position R what are we going to copy we're going to copy from the position of the comma so the position of the comma. So the position of the comma in array results are results. So we want to start at the position of the comma plus one. We don't want to start exactly at the comma there. We want to go one after it. So the position of the comma, find its position, which in this case would be a three. We want to go to position four. So just plus one onto it. So copy from this, starting at position four, and we want to copy for however many characters, you can say three, four, five, because there's nothing left after it. So copy whatever's left over. So copy all of that, even if there's nothing there. Okay, so that'll copy whatever the number is, and but that's going to be in a string format, because array results is a string, and we're using copy, which returns a string, and we want it as a number. So I'm going to convert this over here from a string to an int just so that we can use our comparison of numbers because so i want to use it as an integer okay now that i've got the draws now i can go okay if the draws that we just extracted if it's bigger than my r max if it's bigger than the number of draws that we've recorded so far which in the first case is very very few draws if it's negative if that is true then we need to do a couple of things the first thing is we say okay well we found a new maximum number of draws so i'm going to reset R max to whatever this R draws is because that's now the score to beat with regard to whoever's got the most number of draws 
And while I'm here, I need to record who that team was. Now you can record the position that we at are at this particular point so that we know where to display. Let's do that. I'm going to have a variable called R pause. So that's the position of whoever got the max draws. That's going to equal to R. So if we are at position one and that number one, the, the team at position one has the most number of draws, we're going to record number one has the most number of draws. I'm not going to be able to record R at the end because R is going to keep changing onto the end of the string. So we need to record now at this particular moment in time when we said, hey, the draws are bigger than whatever our max value is, record this position that we're at at this moment in time. So that when we're outside the loop, once the loop is completed, we can go, okay, the at position our pause was the one that won all the draws, or drew all the draws. I don't even think you can win the draws. Okay, so that's what our loop is doing. It's checking all, um, extracting the draws, checking if it's bigger than our max. So the first one will definitely beat negative 999. So the first one will become it's 30 comma 3 so 3 will become the max to beat and we will record position 1 then the next team will obviously beat that and so it will go okay record that team's number of draws and the position 2 will be recorded and so on and so on and so on and then once the loop is finished once we at the end of the loop because that's the only time we can say who's the max because you've got to check everything now we can go okay show message and how do they want me to show the message? They want me to show the message. If I come here, boom, all the way to the bottom here. The team's name is the team with the most draws and in bracket the number of draws. Okay. So let's go look. So the team name plus is the team is the team with the most number of draws. Is that right with the most draws not most number of draws, most draws then have a bracket and then we're gonna have some sort of number and then we're gonna have another bracket so it's gonna look something like that okay now what this is obviously going to change so where do we get the team name from well the team name is from array teams but which team do we get well we recorded the position of the team that had the most draws so at position r pause so if we found the most draws was at position three then go fetch the team name at position three and the most number of draws well we can't get the value from array results because array results will be 30 comma three but what our, our max will be whatever the max number of draws is so we can actually use our max here but the problem is, yeah, is our max is an integer. That was already a string, so we don't need to convert that. But this one is an integer, so let's convert our max from a string, from a string, from an int to a string, so that it can fit into this show message. See, our max will be whatever the biggest number of draws is, and once it's finished, it'll record that value. So let's go through it. In our previous question, we displayed the log of all the teams so I'm actually going to view that quickly so we can look here and we can just test our results if we go through you can see clearly that 15 Forest United is the team that had the most number of draws let's see if we get that result correct most number of draws boom Forest United is the team with the most draws 15 so there we go so it went all the way through it recorded three as the most number then eight then 9, then 10, it didn't do military, then it got too far. So, hey, this is the most number at position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, at position 6. It recorded 15 at position 6, and then it carried on going, and none of these beat the draw, so it never overrode the max. It stayed 15, and it's, uh, our position stayed 6, got to the end, and then we displayed the value in the array team to position 6, and our, our max variable to say, what was that number that had the most number of draws? Okay, so there we go. That's the most number of draws. For the other videos in this video mock test walkthrough, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment, like our videos. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.